so uh, this is the first question we picked it was there in uh, slot 1 of this year's paper the first thing that comes to your mind if you see this question is if this should be negative then this one should be positive the numerator should be positive and denominator should be negative or either vice versa right so if we uh, solve it in the regular way then you'll have to graph it and like find the ranges where bo uh, both those conditions are satisfied so instead of that what we can do is the fastest uh, value you can find for this equation is from x equal to 0 right because if you just substitute 0 it will become 15 by 18 and that is positive so it is not uh, negative in that case so all the options that uh, covers x equal to 0 they can be eliminated directly p covers 0 and uh, d also covers 0 in the second case so these two are immediately eliminated so now you look at uh, these uh, a and c so you uh, find a case that is included in either one of them but not in both of them so if i just uh, put x equal to 0 in that equation i'll get 15 by 18 right so through this uh, we can eliminate two of our options a uh, b and d and if you see like uh, a and c now you'll see that uh, you can pick any one uh, number which is there in a but not in c for example like if you take minus 3 it is uh, included in a but not in c so if you just substitute minus 3 in this equation you'll get 9 plus 9 minus 6 minus 15 that is uh, minus 9 so if you just put minus 3 in that equation you get minus 3 square minus 2 into 3 minus 15 divided by minus 3 square plus 21 minus 18 so uh, 9 plus 21 minus 18 so what you get is 9 minus 6 minus 15 that is uh, minus 12 divided by something positive so you will get a negative answer so in that case if minus 3 satisfies uh, the negative condition then obviously the answer should be a because a and c don't can't be both the answers make sure that whatever number you pick is uh, included in one of the remaining options but not in both of them so you can uh, eliminate one so this one is with a certain amount of money you can buy three types of fruits and they've given different numbers of fruits that you can buy with the same money so two apples four oranges and six mangoes so here immediately you should pick up that uh, four four are eliminated here one apple equal to uh, two mangoes this should come immediately from this equation and if you check the last one it is eight oranges and seven mangoes so this is equal to eight oranges plus seven mangoes so this will become four oranges plus ten mangoes i just converted one apple into two mangoes equal to eight oranges plus seven mangoes right so three mangoes equal to four uh, oranges so from first equality you get a equal to 2m and from second one you get 3m equal to four oranges and then they ask then the number of mangoes in a basket of mangoes that has the same cost right so uh, you pick any one of these for example eight oranges and seven mangoes so you just convert four oranges into mangoes and eight oranges into mangoes you get six mangoes so six plus seven is 13 and uh, like immediately all you have to write is this much i just wrote it to explain but this is the only thing you have to write here and uh, this you should not even be writing as soon as you see the first two equations this should come into your mind if you substitute it here you need to you might need to write this but as soon as you get this and this your answer should be already marked these type of questions like whenever we look at them we feel that we'll need to calculate some infinite series or something but for any such question basically if you see n and n plus 1 it should hold true for any value of n that means even as simple as 1 or 2 so if you just uh, pick n equal to 1 here and if a1 is the only term here and we should get the first term if we substitute n equal to 1 here. so if you just put n equal to 1 you can see that to get this term a is the only option that satisfies it because the all the other terms if you put n equal to 1 it never comes to the first term and in case they uh, want you to work a little bit more and in case they give two options that both satisfy this first term if you put n equal to 1 then just try for n equal to 2 next you don't need to use some ap formula and try to get this series later using this term one more thing i would like to add is uh, sometimes there are trick questions to exactly catch this thing and they don't want you to substitute options for example if they had an option that said root n by uh, root a1 plus root an plus 1 then you would have got stuck because that will also satisfy for n equal to 1 so you need to know how to solve this and this uh, option elimination it's just uh, something you can apply when the time is right 
you shouldn't uh, waste a lot of time substituting options for every question you need to practice and get to know when it's the time right time to do that and that you learn through mocks mm-hmm.